kwa machache najua nilikuwa nimemwambia Mohamed Ali leo nimevaa jezi yangu ya Liverpool kumhakikishia that he'll never walk alone neither will he ever stand alone on this matter you will realize uh, a few days ago when Mohamed presented his uh, motion of impeachment shameless leaders from the Pwani region uh, castigated Mohamed uh, for that motion. But I want to reassure him as a brother and as a representative, with even the presence of Aisha Jumo here, that the majority, the overwhelming majority of the people of Mombasa and the coast region, and indeed the Kenyan Republic, stand with him. In fact, today I also want to appeal to some of our brothers, Ndindi Nyoro, Gashagwa, Grigavi, and the rest of them. This is not an affront to CS Masharia. It is a call for the constitutional principles that all regions must be party to that benefit that the nation guarantees to everyone. It is not about regional politics. We have nothing personal against CS Masharia, but we have everything personal about the economic sabotage of the coast region and Mombasa in particular. We, are, we have discussed with Mohammed and Aisha that this sabotage is tantamount to genocide because you are costing lives and livelihoods. And therefore, we are considering a class action suit with uh, advocate bodies and other civil society organizations that, that, that endeavor themselves in public interest litigation. We are going to collaborate with all the business parties, including the First Action Movement, to quantify the amount of loss that was incurred as a result of this negligent enforcement of orders that intend to transfer economic benefit from one part of the country to another. We are, we are also quite conscious that these actions are moved by personal greed of some leaders of this country who own swaths of land in this country as a result of a looting class of people from the beginning of this, country, of, of, this, uh, of, the, of this nation in 1963. And therefore, that class action suit will seek not only to restitute the people of Mombasa and the economy of Mombasa, we intend it not to be a loss on the people of Kenya. People must learn to bear personal responsibility for actions and omissions that they undertake when they are sitting in positions of responsibility. Therefore, we will also seek to enjoin the estate of the Kenyatta family we'll, because the president must bear direct responsibility for the sabotage of Mombasa's economy and transfer the same benefit, so supposedly, to his farm in, in, uh, in Naivasha. Secondly, Masharia will incur all liabilities as a result of the economic loss that we saw on the uh, in Mombasa County and the coast region. He mambo ya kushitaki serikali. Alafu serikali ndio inachukua kutupitiana kodi za wa Kenya is the one that is that suffers loss. We must now bear personal responsibilities of individuals and leaderships that take decisions that adversely affect this country. And therefore, this is not about a personalization of these issues. It's about future leaderships realizing that their impunity will be punished and they will pay heavily for acts of commission and omission when they sit in positions of power and responsibility. Thirdly, as a call on Speaker Muturi. I, want, I, I have nothing but respect for Speaker Muturi. It pains me to inform him that the Senate that we once defended so vehemently is today a dead institution with a leadership that is irreparably compromised on both sides of the divide and as a speaker who is carcinogenically irreparable. So when you have that type of a situation, there are only two institutions today in Kenya where we can turn to. The National Assembly, which is our institution of popular representation, and the judiciary, 
So I'm asking uh, Speaker Muturi to allow this matter to be discussed in the floor of the of, of, Parliament, of National Assembly and let the members make a decision on account of the evidence that Muhammad Ali will present to that floor. And I can appeal to him. If, and Didmas, you're here, Muhammad, you're here, and Aisha, if the National Assembly collapses, the Senate is collapsed totally. Mulkwa Munaita, Nyumba retirees, now it's an Nyumba expirees. All those people have expired. So I'm asking that if you, if you do not defend the, the mandate of the National Assembly, Kenyans will have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And therefore I'm asking the judiciary to play its role in the National Assembly. And uh, Speaker Muturi, what evidence do you need? You are a lawyer of good standing. Take judicial notice. The lives of Mombasa, the residents of Mombasa have been shattered. The same Mashari has come and purged the National Assembly and proceedings of Parliament. He has made enormous commitments that he has not lived up to. And you live in this country. You know the corruption that has, has taken place in this country, including a court decision where you, you owe your fidelity to as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an advocate that have said that the SGR contract was illegal. So therefore, we are here to express solidarity. We are here to tell Muhammad Ali and Aisha Jumwa and Didmas and the team in Parliament they're not on their own. But we're also here to say that we are not helpless. You can stop Parliament, you can stop the judiciary, but ultimately you will not stop the people of Mombasa, the people of the coast region, and the people of this country. God bless you.